Hi, today let's take a quick look inside my new Laney amp. It's a class AB 15 watt power all valve amp with a 1 watt option. It has 12 AX7 valves in the preamp and EL84s in the power section. It has a switchable boost and onboard reverb, all from Laney's pedals, a free band EQ, gain and volume control and no standby switch. You can find the effects loop, line out, foot switch and speaker jack on the back side. To disassemble, you need to find the four screws on the back. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the four screws and be aware that those are wood screws. Remove the back panel. It's not always easy, like in my case, because it's glued on. Watch out for excessive amounts of glue residue out on these areas. In my case, I remove these residue with isopropyl alcohol. On the other side, you need to locate these four screws. These are machine screws. Be aware that wood and machine screws are not interchangeable. These are holding the metal chassis. Here you can see I'm removing the last machine screw. I placed my hand under the amp because the metal chassis will fall out from the cabinet. You need to hold it. Now, after these steps, you will be able to pull out the metal chassis from the head cabinet itself. Just gently pull out the unit. Now, here's the amp unit itself. All valves are secured by those valve retainers. There you can see the transformers. The 12 AF AX7 VM valves and the EL84 power valves. I lifted it up so you can see the transformers code and type. As you can see, in my case, it came with tube amp doctor valves. All the EL84s and two of the 12 AX7s. The other 12 AX7 is a JJ valve. Now here's the main part of the video. I'm showing you the inside, the gut shot. This amp is a PCB constructed amp. It has a main board and some secondary boards. The valve sockets are soldered and mounted on this main board. It is not a surprise at this price point. I cannot judge the quality of the board and the traces itself, I'm just showing you. In the middle of valve 1, solder joint, you can see a hum null trim pot. I do not know the exact function of this. I know it's not the bias spot. The valve bias spot is located near valve 5. I marked the exact location in the picture. It's an important part because this amp needs to be biased when you change the power valves. And this trim pot is the bias adjusting pot. Do not mix up the hum null trim pot with the bias trim pot. From this camera angle, I wanted to show you the pots on the control panel. Those are normal quality pots, cleanable, easily changeable, not like the plastic ones they used by cheap marshals and others. It's a good surprise at this price point. From this angle, you can see the jacks of the foot switch, line out, effects loop and speaker jacks. These are the classic plastic jacks found in a lot of amps 
these jacks are easily replaceable. Here you can see the closer angles, so you can inspect the quality of the board and the components they used, and the quality of the factory lead free solder joints. As I have said earlier, I cannot judge it and I will leave it to you. When, when you reassemble the amp, do not mix up the wood screws with the machine screws. The four wood screws goes in the back panel of the amp. The four machine screws goes the underside of the amp. hope this video was helpful at some level and I thank you for watching. See you later.